Hello everyone! Due to popular demand, here's another demo of what I am working on – Songs of Ice and Fire, Heavy Metal Artificial Intelligence. First, let's have a quick look at this lovely landscape that we're seeing here. Let me zoom out to give you an impression. This is a latent space of heavy metal music. I showed something like this in one of the previous videos where I explained how I took heavy metal music, 20,000 samples, and I embedded them into a latent space with a model. And then I visualized and made this latent space navigatable with Tiesony and Voronoi diagrams. So this is an advanced result. It's still the same, but it looks a little bit more optically pleasing. And it also has a couple of details that I like here and there, which I'll show in a moment. So let me zoom in. Interesting. So it changes. Well, it's optics. It's a little bit more, how can I say, it's a little bit more crystalline, which means that it has a certain 3D-ish feel to it. And if I remember well, we have like three big clusters. So here is a huge island, a huge continent of samples that consist of guitar and drums. Here, on the other hand, it is drums only. And there we have guitars only. And what you can see is that they are not really connected. There are gaps in between, which looks very aesthetically pleasing. So I like that it happened here. And if I navigate to the borders, there be dragons. So beyond the huge map, beyond those continents, there is not so much anymore. Okay, let me zoom in. Let me show you a couple of samples that live there. What about this one? Okay, sounds like a very interesting riff. It has some drums to it. I love it. One more. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's take one that is close to that one. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the right. What about this one? Or that one? Mm-hmm. Or this. Or here. What about this one? Or that one? Well, what you can immediately realize is, due to the nature that we have quite a lot of samples here, it will keep you very busy navigating those. So I think well, maybe we have around 6,000, 7,000 samples here. And as I tell you, as you can see right now, it's a lot of fun exploring those. Let's cross the border. Let's go into this town and see what we have here. There be drums. What about this one? More drums in here. Interesting. This one? Mm hmm And that one. Okay, definitely the drum continent. Let's go to the guitar continent. It's a, a nice mountain range. What about this one? And here? Fairly similar. That one? Hmm, interesting. That one? What do we have on the border? And here? Oh, that's almost the same sample. This one? And this one? Interesting, interesting, interesting. What about this one? And here? And if you go there? What about the other direction? Here. Here's the deep stuff. What about this one? And here. Okay, cool. There's one thing that you saw the entire time, but I didn't tell you what it does. Let me show you something. I zoom in. I select just a sample. 
Let's play it another time. And maybe a third time. If you hit the button here, you will have this entire sequence that you can listen to. Now comes the crucial part. What else fits? What about this one? I guess not. What about that one? Oh, let's try it. <laughs> it's a rather full stop. Let's remove that one and find another alternative. What about this one? Uh, maybe I start with this one first. And that one. What about if we hear this in succession? And this one again. And then, and then maybe this one. Interesting. So what you learn is that you can explore the latent space, but you also can find samples that maybe sound well together. What about this one? Ooh, there's a lot of power in it. What about this one? What about that one? And this one. So maybe we can turn this into a well, not so sophisticated, but maybe powerful drum solo. Well, this one is very, very happy and very heavy to say the least. What about doing the same for guitar only? <laughs> There is one that has some drums in it. Awesome. So I like this a lot of fun. Well, and this is going to be one of my next exhibits at KI Salon Heilbronn, where I work as artist in residence. So my task is, well, create quite a lot of these, how can I say, AI music, generative AI, artificial intelligence exhibits where you can learn as someone who visits this exhibit you can learn about artificial intelligence and how artificial intelligence augments human productivity and creativity well and that's it for today if you like this video please like it if you have any questions well there's the comment space feel free to ask any questions you like and i would feel honored if you would subscribe to my channel Thank you very much. Have a nice day.